How, how are you and Trey doing? How, how's the Kyle Trey relationship? Uh, our relationship's great. Um, it's it's always been good. So no, nothing really changes in this role. Got to um, spend a lot of time with him last year. It's been fun giving him a lot more reps, putting him through a lot more stuff. And um, he's a fun guy to coach. He takes the challenges each day, whether it's a good day or a bad day. He's always coming in, just wanting to know what to approve. And um, that's all you can ask for in a player. And just hope to keep giving those opportunities. So much of this game is mental. How big is his mental hill to climb? I mean, that's, it's a playbook. It's leadership. It's reads. Um, I guess my question is, should fans be patient because of a learning curve? Uh, yeah, I think, of course, they should. Um, but it's, I mean, quarterback position, there's just so much that goes into it. And just from the physical standpoint, how challenging it is from a throwing mechanism, from running, from trying to avoid the D lines, and then from um, just the experience of knowing how to play these, how guys move in this league, and um, all the different coverages and disguise you go through, and how every single week's different, and sometimes how every quarter's different. So um, experience is huge, and that's what we got to get him more of. And um, But I love throwing him out there because I know the competitor that, that he is, and just watch him in practice here or he's our players are um believing him more and more each day and i can't wait to get him out on the field so kyle we've heard a lot already about the connection between trey lance and brandon Ayuk and how they seem to be really in sync with each other i know they worked before camp even started uh they they spent some time working out together i don't know i just wanted to know what you're seeing there between that combination of trey lance to brandon Ayuk. how's that look to you oh they've been great you know i, I think the whole like I mean, I always think that stuff's overrated as in this guy needs to work with this player or this guy with that. Like, um, usually when receivers get open and quarters, quarterbacks know where to go with the ball, good things happen. And um, Ayuk's doing that at such a high rate right now. Um, he's in the best shape I've ever seen him in. He had such a good OTAs, had such a good um, 40 days away from us. Um, and he's, he's really at the top of his game right now, and hopefully we can keep him there. Kyle Shanahan, the voice you hear, 49ers Packers Friday, 49ers week one, September 11th against the Chicago Bears. And just going to continue with a few more on, on Trey just because quarterbacks are everything in this world. You mentioned uh, throwing mechanics, and there's been discussion from sideline quarterbacks and armchair quarterbacks that Trey needs to work on his mechanics or they're not perfect. What can you tell us about Trey Lance's throwing mechanics? Does he need to continue to work on them? Are they not where they need to be? Every single quarterback in the league needs to continue to work on them. Watch how Brady goes through an offseason. Um, watch how Brady throws now to compare to how he did 10 years ago, to compare how he did five years before that, or to compare how he did at Michigan. Um, that's something that's always changing. That's why all these guys go and, I mean, spend time with House and things like that, or if they have someone else. I mean, every quarterback we've had has gone through the exact same program in an offseason. I think – um, what Trey had to go through was recovering from injuries in the off season. I mean, he played with a, a broken finger that never healed last year, so he had to completely change his grip and do things differently, and that took time to rehab from that. Okay, so that's interesting. So we, that's stuff we didn't know much about last fall. So there were significant finger injuries that he's had to sort of overcome. Yeah, the, yeah, he did. I mean, you know, he broke his finger in that last preseason game, which wasn't a bad break, but um, it didn't totally heal right to where you lose bending of it. And um, when you're going through a season and just trying to um, keep up with everything, you know, it just it started to change and he had to adjust to it and um, created a few issues towards the end of the year. But that's what was fun to get the get his finger healthy and start working on those as soon as he got an off season. Well, it's the big deal. I mean, you guys made the move for him, and it's, you know, there's Jimmy on the side of the field, and it's just kind of there. It's like he's Jimmy's out, Trey's in. This is the fruition of the plan that you and John you know, hatched uh, a year and a half ago. Is that is that kind of like you guys are – this is what you were aiming for, correct? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think when you make a move to go get a, a quarterback in the first round or anybody, when you trade two picks away to go do that, I mean, you're planning on that guy to come in and start eventually. And um, we did that. We had some tough decisions we had to make, especially with our roster and um, how to keep some of our guys. And we thought one of the things that could help us the most was getting a guy in a rookie quarterback salary. And we found a guy we liked and we made the move. Kyle Shanahan, the man you hear. And so quarterbacks, we can talk about him all day, but there's a lot more to the team than just the quarterback. And I'm going to go from something as sexy as the quarterback to something as unsexy as the interior O-line. <laughs> I 